What's up, y'all? What it is? Oh, what's up? Got your nigga in the cut. Goddamn, if you don't remember that from Vine Days, you too old. But what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Tara Lane here, and I'm back with another freaking video. And y'all, before we get, we get into everything, I just hit 4K. So shout out to y'all. Woo! Shout out to y'all for hitting that subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, this is your first time seeing my face, and you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming with me on this journey. And it's up. We're on the way to 5K now. We didn't hit 4K. Now it's time for 5K. But if you can't tell from the title, today I'm just gonna be doing like a little chit chat. Get ready with me to go nowhere um, because it's literally 7:40 at night on a on a Wednesday. <laughs> But I just wanted to do a get rid of me. I might take some pictures or whatever. I'm just going to do my makeup um, on camera. And we're going to talk about some of my unpopular opinions. Because I've been seeing a lot of people doing this on YouTube as well as TikTok. And I was like, you know, I feel like I, I got some opinions that some people may not agree with. Or you may agree with. I don't know. We'll see. Okay? So let me know which ones you might agree with. But if you know me, you know. I got a glass of wine near me. It's never too far. So I'm drinking um, the Oliver Sweet Red Wine. I'll put it up on the, the screen somewhere. A little picture of it so y'all can see. Follow me on TikTok at Tyra Lane with two underscores so y'all can get more wine and drink. And just overall recommendations about the liqueur. Um, but yeah, and if you are interested in my rose of wine glass. Uh, my friend Shayna did give me this for my birthday. Um, I did finally do an Amazon storefront so it is linked It'll probably be linked in the description box below so y'all can go shop my Amazon storefront or whatever. But yeah, let's take a sip and we're going to get right into it. Mm. <gasps> that was a fail. <laughs> my first unpopular opinion is all that soft girl, weird girl, um, soft life, luxury life, all that era stuff. All that bullshit. It needs to stop. Like, like what is the, what's the point of that? Can we stop? Because it's just like, why do we have to put a label, a label on everything? You know, like, why can't we just exist? Like, it's hard enough living life every day, just living. Like, why do we have to put a title on everything? Why does it have, like, I want to be living my soft girl, luxury girl, something, something girl, all that at the same time. Like, I'm not entering different eras of my life. Like... I'm trying to do everything at the same time and it's like I feel like us like not even us like people putting like doing all that like making that a trending thing like soft girl era or luxury girl and all this other type of stuff villain era I feel like that just kind of makes people feel like they are they are behind because I see a lot of people that's like well what is a soft girl era how do I get into my soft girl era or how do I um become like a luxury girl like a lot of people kind of start becoming envious and stuff like that and it's just like i mean i mean babes like i said life is hard it's enough going on in the world right now to not be worried about trying to make sure you living in a luxury or soft girl area make sure you baby as long as you alive and you woke up today and you existing and you all right you in the right state of mind i applaud you like don't even be trying to fit all these different categories and shit that social media then made like girl these people are bored they just making up stuff to try to feel like they isolating themselves or leverage leveraging themselves up over somebody else like I, baby i don't i don't see the point in it but i mean whatever that's that's just my opinion let me know what y'all feel about the whole soft girl era um luxury girl all that type of stuff villain era i'm entering my villain era i saw somebody post on um on facebook not facebook girl i don't even get on facebook somebody posted on twitter and they was like she said i hate it all i'll put it on the screen she said i hate it all soft life luxury life day in the life of a high value woman slash man feminine energy passenger princess heal life fam just shut up like just exist and she said social media is killing us everything has to be an aesthetic is it not exhausting how much of your life can be perfectly curated content and i totally agree it's not that i hate it but it's just like i'm tired of seeing it like i feel like every day social media coming up with something new like can we just exist and can we just all thank god that we are still here in a land of a living because like i said life is already hard enough we don't need to be trying to 
fit ourselves in some type of box that you probably not even ready for and yeah don't feel bad if you ain't in none of them categories baby as long as you here that's all that matters my second one that i have is no they not invited to the cookout you think just because you did that mediocre shit you can get some of my barbecue nah that's out like i want us as a people and y'all know when i say us i mean my people i want us to stop being so damn welcoming to the poems because it's just like they don't be inviting us to they stuff when they see us doing stuff that they do like they don't be so welcoming to us at all they have never been welcoming to us so why at the least the slightest little thing that they do because little johnny or um jake got on social media and he did the um the greedy <laughs> Or he know how to cook some chicken. Or he got a little, he a little spicy white. He got a little swag to him. He know how to dance a little bit. He automatically invited to the cookout. Like, no. Like, not my cookout. He ain't invited to mine. Like, no ma'am. So, I just want us to be, no shade, no tea, no shade. But it's just like, we gotta stop being so welcoming. Because these people do not be fucking with us like that. How we be trying to fuck with them, they don't be fucking with us like that. So it's just like, come on y'all, let's let's get a grip, okay? Because at the end of the day, they probably still don't like us. So yeah. And then if you find yourself getting offended or you know you feel some type of way about what I'm saying, remember baby, these are my opinions, okay? This is just how I feel. And you have um your own social media page and your own um whatever. <laughs> to feel free to voice your opinions your own personal opinions but don't come on here trying to make me feel bad for how i think okay but um yeah so no they ain't invited to the cookout stop inviting people to the damn cookout because they be doing the bare minimum and they know what they be doing too they be doing it so they can be invited to the cookout mm -mm. i have had it up to here and my next one is can we bring back gatekeeping like we complain and i see people complaining all the time is oh everybody look the same everybody dressed the same they um they using our products they using our stuff but we don't be keeping the sauce like we be so willing to give them the sauce like can we start back gatekeeping like you don't need to know where everybody got their outfit from babes if you need to know that bad and you 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 can go search it yourself you know like with the whole i don't know if y'all be on twitter but with the whole myo organics stuff where the palms are using our product that's for textured hair like if y'all stop posting stuff on social media all the time like everything is not meant for content okay everything is not meant for content now y'all all crying because they going and buying the myo oil off of the shelves just like baby if we would have kept it to ourselves we knew it was working we knew it worked we knew it grow hair like we didn't have to come and post it on social media like because you know they're gonna be quick to gentrify stuff so can we start like keeping stuff to ourselves and not even just them like i said with the whole like clothing every time i see people post something on social media like an outfit or something like when they be doing the get ready with me's and stuff People be like, oh, where you got your shirt from? Where you got your uh where you got your panties from? Where you got your pants from? Where you got your socks from? Like, bitch. Damn. Like, if you want it though that bad, all you gotta do is just go on Google. But then we complain saying everybody walking around here wearing the same thing. Everybody got on the same Shein outfit. Everybody got on that same cacao. I don't even know how to pronounce that brand, but like that little like uh liquid looking bodysuit with the fuzzy skirt Summerella had posted a picture and everybody got that outfit they looking like the same person so can we please bring back gatekeeping and i don't get mad if somebody asks me where something from i don't have to tell you i'm not obligated to tell you and it's not that i'm trying to be rude it's not that i'm trying to be nasty or something but it's like i don't want everybody looking like me and I feel like a lot of other people feel that way too. But they be being, being um, bullied into telling you where they got their stuff from. Because I've seen it too many times where people, somebody will post something like a cute dress or something or whatever. And people will be all in the comments asking where it's from. And that person don't be responding back to the comments. And people be like, oh, she trying to gatekeep. She don't want to tell nobody where the dress is from. Don't nobody want that little dress anyways. It's like, hey. You know there's a way that you can screenshot stuff and put it into a search and it'll pop up 
all the apps and websites where that particular item is at where you could go buy it like <laughs> it's not that hard i feel like some people just don't be wanting to do the work so you rather just ask and you want stuff to just be handed to you and given to you like no if you want it that bad you can go look for it i don't have to i'm not obligated to tell you where it's from i'm not posting it just for people to hassle me and hang me and ask him ask me where my stuff is from come on now some stuff i'll tell you i'll offer the information if i want to tell you but if i don't want to tell you like don't get mad at me boo don't get mad at me it's life you win some you lose some my next unpopular opinion is the whole concept of snitching got my people by a chokehold i don't understand that whole concept of snitching because you think i'm finna lie to save you and say i did something that didn't have nothing to do with me and i'm gonna go sit in jail for some years and lose years out on my life because you want me to hold it down and i'm supposed to be scared what the hood gonna say when i when i get home like you me you think i'm gonna do that nah we got to be delivered from those shackles. That don't even make sense. That's why our um, communities and stuff be stuck in the same cycles. Y'all don't want to speak up. If you don't, if you ain't finna be involved in the activities while you surrounding yourself with that shit. Me personally, if you doing some illegal stuff that you know probably gonna get you in trouble, don't bring it around me, baby. Because I'm going to tell. If I ain't got nothing to do with it, I'm going to tell. I'm sorry. They ain't even got to bring me no, no KFC. They ain't got to bring me nothing in a confessional room. I'ma spill the beans. And y'all could just be like, oh, you a rat, you a rat, you a rat. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I do not care. And we are getting older. Like it's men that is like shaming. I don't even know. I I don't know if Gunna snitched or not. I didn't watch his video, but like they shaming all the dudes that's like with um Young Thug and whoever else they shaming them saying like oh you know y'all snitched and whatever like the hood ain't gonna respect you i'm not gonna listen to your music no more like nigga, you're 46 you are 46 so you telling me if you get caught up in something and you didn't have nothing to do with it you gonna go take your 46 year old ass and go sit in jail they don't sound dumb to you mm? oh, okay ah okay My next one is a man cheating lying dragging you through the mud it's not in my card uh for better or for worse like i don't think that's what they meant when they when you say your vows and you say for better or for worse i feel like for better or for worse it's like you know babe you lose your job i gotta step in and help with the finances um you know that's one of those situations or babe you 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 get ill, you get sick, something happened. I can step in, I can step up and help, you know, wherever you lacking. Like that's what I feel for better or for worse. If you're not mentally, you're not mentally all the way there, you may be depressed or whatever, you know, like we kind of balance each other out. We work as a team. When one is down, the other one is up. When the other one is down, the other one is up, but we kind of balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like for better or for worse is, but I feel like a lot of people kind of use that for a better or for worse to stick with somebody that's like lying cheating dragging them through the mud just doing everything possible to them because they feel like oh well i mean i vow said for better or for worse the ups and downs the trials and tribulations baby because mm -mm. guess what that man he see you going for it he ain't gonna change he is not gonna change he gonna keep on doing the same stuff because you keep saying you keep it in your mind Oh, it's for better or for worse. So this is the this is what the worst includes. This is the worst. So eventually it'll be for better. Like the better will come eventually. Some men they can change for themselves. But if a man don't want to change for himself, baby, he gonna keep doing that same thing, especially if you allowing it. So just keep that keep that in mind. And that ain't even just for marriages. That's for relationships and stuff too. Like don't let nobody be out here doing you dirty that's for men and women because women cheat too okay women can dog a man out too like don't let nobody out here just doing you do you wrong and you feel like that's a part of a relationship or that's a part of what comes with being in a relationship like no somebody love you wholeheartedly 100 percent as they say that they do they ain't gonna be trying to put you they gonna be bringing no hurt no harm no nothing to your doorstep they ain't gonna want you to feel none of that they want you to feel the ups all the time so yeah drink to that my last one is 
Hating celebrities is weird. Like, I can understand you not liking them, but hating them, like, you don't even know them. Like, you don't know them people. You do not know them from a can of paint. And when I say hate, you know how some people just like strongly dislike somebody? Like, there's people that strongly dislike Ari. There's some people that strongly dislike Jada. Like, there's some people that strongly dis dislike a lot of celebrities and a lot of, like, um, um, what I was going to say? A lot of, like, celebrities, influencers, and stuff like that. Like, there's people that strongly, and I can understand, like, okay, people that actually have done something in the media, like, you know, like, these men that's coming out that was, like, rapists and all this other type of stuff. I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? But if you just hating somebody because of who they are or what they've said before like if i ask you why you don't like them or why you hate them and you can't give me a valid reason mm, do you really hate them or are you just kind of going like what off of what everybody else be saying about that person you know like do you even know if you like them or not like <laughs> please give me a reason you know because i can't even sit here and tell you a celebrity that i hate like i can't even sit here and say like oh i hate this person i got them blocked on everything and wooey wooey woo like i can't tell you nobody like that because honestly quite frankly i don't care that much like i don't keep up with people and what you what they doing and what they say and stuff like that does not affect my everyday life you know like what they eat and what they do don't make me shit i'm not fucking fucking them like none of that so it's just like i don't have a reason to downright hate you and I, to be honest me personally i don't even there's not even a celebrity that i can say i just do not like them i just do not like them because social media to be honest with y'all social media can kind of portray you to be um a totally different person Mm, why does it smell like this? It smells a little toxic. A little lethal. <laughs> I don't know if I should be putting this on my eyelashes. This is just glue, but I don't know why. Maybe it's about to expire or something. I don't know. But these lashes only going to be on for a couple of seconds. But anyways, like, social media, especially, like, people that's on, like, TV shows and reality TV and stuff like that. Like, those, a lot of that stuff be edited. And there's ways that people, that they, the cast or whatever filming crew can edit those shows to make that person really seem like this nasty most nastiest demonic person but in reality that's that's not even who they are like they don't even act like that you know what i'm saying like and some stuff people do and say it can be taken the wrong way so it's just like you know like kind of y'all gotta give people more grace like Especially if you don't really know them like that. Like, cause you in real life probably hanging with somebody that acts that acts just like that person you said you don't hate. But you ain't telling your friend that you hate her. You know? So cause I had a lot of people that was like, Oh, I don't like Ari. I don't like Ari. And I was like, Why you don't like Ari? And they could not give me a, a reason. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Like they really couldn't give me a reason. I was like, Oh, okay, so maybe it's just like, you know. You haven't really given her a chance you know what i'm saying like because ari i feel like especially since she had the impact atl show like i was able to i mean i like ari of course there's some stuff that she says and do i don't agree with but it's like i like her overall as a person and it's like even on the impact atl show like you were able to see a different side of her like her talking about her brother her dealing with her sisters like being more vulnerable crying and stuff like that and it's just like me i have very good discernment so it doesn't take a lot for me to see who a person truly is like deep down inside so her showing it on the show didn't take it didn't take that for me to know that she is actually a good person um but like a lot of people were saying like i don't really like ari and they couldn't give me a valid reason and then especially like with what just happened with her like g herbo going on carisha thing and he was he admitted to cheating on her with his new girl and everybody was like well y'all owe Ari an apology because you know like she was into it with Taina and I can understand that because why well, 
never been through postpartum but like you going through postpartum depression you just had a newborn baby your ba your nigga out here cheating on you he not coming home he with this whole new girl you know what i'm saying so i can understand the animosity that she had towards taina but it took for g herbo to come out and admit to it for people to actually have some sympathy for Ari, which is crazy. Which can kind of lead to another point. It's not an unpopular opinion. I feel like a lot of people may agree with this, but I feel like black women deserved, deserve to be believed the first time. Like it shouldn't take for a man, like all this evidence or a man to say something or admit to what he did for us to be believed. Cause I feel like a lot of black women, a lot of black women don't just lie and say things for the hell of it. There might be some, don't get me wrong, there might be some, but a lot of black women are just finna say stuff and put other people in danger or in harm's way or put other people in jail just for the hell of it. Like that situation with Ari. A lot of people was on Taina's side cause Taina was playing this whole good girl role but now they see she was actually the villain the whole time when they was trying to make Ari the villain. And with this whole um, Meg and Tory Lane situation. Y'all, we offer the unpopular opinions now. I'm just talking to y'all now. Because this kind of led into this. But like, with Meg, I believed her the first time she said it. Of course, I know she probably wishes that she never even lied at the beginning and said she stepped on glass because she would not have had to go through all this that she just went through with Tori, the media, going to trial, like all this other type of stuff. But I just wish we were believed from the start. Um and it shouldn't take like for Meg, it shouldn't have taken for his jail call that he made to Kelsey to be released or you know all this stuff it shouldn't have taken all that for y'all to believe this girl like why would meg this celebrity that don't need nothing from tori that's above tori like that she don't need nothing nothing that she can gain from him like why would she lie on him you know what i'm saying and it's just like especially i feel like we deserve to be hold on let me put my lashes on y'all but yeah it's like the amount of black men and black women that was taunting this girl like saying that she was lying and free tory and all this other type of stuff and still some of them don't believe her even with all the evidence being released it's just like i wish especially black men believed black women up front you know like stop coddling your bros stop I understand that shit, your homeboy, but stop taking his side because you don't really know the real him. Like, it's been a lot of times where women are sexually assaulted, SA'd by a dude, and his homeboys just be oblivious to the situation. They still hanging with him. They don't put him in check after the girl then came out and said that this dude has did such to her. Like, I feel like y'all need to start holding each other accountable talk to your homeboy especially if that's not your character talk to him and put him in his place and if he ain't trying to get in the right place leave him where he fucked up at you know like that's the only way we gonna progress that's the only way we gonna move in the right direction as a people but yeah <laughs> I just started preaching to y'all. I knew I wanted to tap into that Tori and Meg situation just because that that shit there was crazy. But I'm about to go do my hair and then we're going to close out. Y'all, so this is a finished look. <laughs> like I said, I ain't going nowhere, child. I'm probably just going to make some TikToks and like I said, cook. going to be cooking like a baddie, looking like a baddie. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, if y'all want to see a part two of my unpopular opinions or another little video like this, definitely leave it to comments down below. Again, thank y'all so much for 4K. If you are new here and you watch this video all through and you like me, you like your girl, you fuck with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the Elaine Kang. The Elaine Kang. The Elaine Gang. And, um, yeah, help me get to 5K. We're on the way to 5K. Um... But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.